Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. I made a video of my craft room and it was beautiful and that's gonna come out in a couple days. Now we're about to destroy it because these boxes that you're looking at are my holiday and winter. I have one, two, three iris cases, a cardboard box, and then some stuff that was sitting on top of the boxes in the cupboard. In my craft room tour, I showed you all of this, but now I'm gonna pull out all my Christmas stash and go through it. I need to figure out what paper I'm going to use for Bourbon Creek Crafts Crafty Christmas Collab in November. So I wanted to roll this video out so you could see my stash and help me pick. So let's go through this mess and try and find something that I will make, I believe it's four projects with in November. And then of course we might find some more that I need to make stuff with in December. The way I approach holiday, winter, Christmas is I try and do Christmas first because winter could roll into late December, January, maybe even February. And if I get tired of Christmas, I'll put it away and pull out winter earlier. That's how I work because you know I like blue. Okay, I'm gonna try filming for you from right there on the tripod, not up close like we usually do, and we'll see how that works. If it's terrible, I'll throw out this video. How about that? <laughs> what? Okay, this box was not very full. Interesting. So I'm gonna pull this out. And I think for me, that's part of the problem of using a cardboard box. I think my plan was to add to it. This looks like it is all truly Christmas. Let's take a look. I don't know if there's a right side up. We have, I remember that I bought a ton of Christmas at the end of last year when I should have been done buying it. These are dated December 19. So I think I was pretty much done with Christmas at that point. So if we sort this out, I think there's a whole bunch of matching stuff in here. Okay, so we have My Mind's Eye, Comfort and Joy. This is 48 sheets of 12 by 12 paper. And it is, let's get these opened up. I got the tags off so I think we can open it up and take a look better. This is all my mind's eye comfort and joy. It's a ridiculous amount, right? The six by six, the ephemera packs, 26 decorative tags, journal, cu journal cards, clearly I, I recall last year I had some trouble getting winter and Christmas papers and then when they came they came kind of late so then I freaked out and bought a bunch of them. This pad seems to be mittens and a lot of just really basic patterns. Not a lot of shapes, not a lot of cars or trees or just not much. Uh, nice plaid. Looks like there's a little bit of shimmer on that. That's nice and there is, oh that's beautiful. There is a mint green in here, see that? So the paper has like some embossed glitter accents. Pretty neat. Uh, the mittens have glitter on them and it's single sided. So this might be good for journals. You could use it for cards, of course, too. Big patterns though, that's cute, not too big. Mm, I don't know that I need that. That's a cute one. That one might be a little tricky to use. Definitely a journal. I like the wreaths. I like the fact that it has like the embossed glitter here and there in it. Whoa, more embossed glitter, mittens. Oh, there's some little trees and the trees are decorated. I don't know if it picks it up, but there's dimension on the trees. You can feel the ornaments. Okay, so that's one. That is Comfort and Joy by My Mind's Eye. And then we have the six by six, a lot of other stuff too. Then we have Cozy Christmas. And Cozy Christmas is, um, it has like an advent calendar look. It has cars, busier text. It, it seems to be a little busier with the patterns, I think. More of these are calmer patterns. I don't know, I could be wrong. You can take a look and you can tell me if you think they're pretty much the same. I feel like this one has more green and that one is just the touch of mint, but still, same companies very often use the same color palette. So I think it comes down to, do you like the cars and the packages, or do you like the mittens? And there's mint green and black for the mittens. This one, oh, this one doesn't really have the black. 
right? This one has a lot more black, Comfort and Joy does. So then with Cozy Christmas, I seem to have done the same thing. I found the six by six and a whole bunch of fun embellishments. Very often, if you have the same brand, you can mix and match. If you have Christmas Echo Park, they're using a lot of the same runs for the ink and stuff, it'll match. These two, I think I could chop these two up and mix them and it would go just great. But if I use two 48 sheet pads at the same time, I'd probably lose my mind. This looks like a pile of my friend Noni's rejects and mine, right? We started some stuff, we used some. This says happy holidays in green, red, and blue. On blue, it's just a washi. So this is scraps and stickers and fun. And like I said, look at these different Echo Park collections and how similar the colors are. Maybe that red is a little brighter, but those two, one is I love Christmas and one is a perfect Christmas. You could do some mix and match in there. Here's another partial I have down here. It's Echo Park also, a red and blue. This one is Celebrate Christmas, Echo Park. My guess is there's parts of it in here. Puffy stickers, oh my gosh. This is the set of puffy stickers for a cozy Christmas from Echo Park, but it could go, again, Echo Park, you're gonna be able to mix and match a lot of those colors here. Look at this. This is Snow Much Fun, and it's a Cartabella paper pack. I might have this. We might run across this. Let's put this in a, hmm, does it have friends section over here? We'll stand it up. Well, okay, we'll put it right there so it doesn't fall on us. And then I Love Winter Echo Park. I think these are from my warehouse box. I think that's what this pile is right here. So we have some miscellaneous papers, foil and stripes dots, Celebrate Winter, Merry and Bright, and then celebrate winter. Mm, I don't, maybe I had already purchased one. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> I don't remember getting two in my warehouse box, but I have started grouping things a little bit. So maybe that's what happened. So we definitely will be celebrating winter, but look how cute it is. I'm fine with that. And it's very uh, welcoming for all. It doesn't seem to have like, any religious connotations. I don't think it says, baby, it's cold outside, which turns out isn't really politically correct to say to people anymore. I don't know. Okay, now some of these boxes are going to be more embellishment and miscellaneous than just paper. So for now, I just wanna focus on the paper. Oh, here's some more embellishments for Cozy Christmas. Embellishments. Here's another one. This one I wrote myself a note that it has Santa in it and ho, ho, ho. So it's all blue, but it's not really for work. Oh my gosh. These are from Susan Tootsie Tucker. She was my secret Santa last year. I'm probably gonna use these in a journal for me. I, I might put some on cards and stuff, but I'm gonna be honest. These aren't going too far from me. I'm not gonna send those out to my friends. This is beautiful, luscious paper, so it's definitely Cartabella, and it's a partial pad. We want to find something big, because I'm going to work with it for a whole month, so let's not find a partial, but we can get all the partials and put them together. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I remember this bad boy. Okay, this is a bundle that I ran across at Tuesday morning, just this fall, and it's authentic, and it's called Rejoice, and it's an eight by eight pad. The sticker set, you gotta see this for $11.99. So a sticker sheet, a bunch of pieces of 12 by 12 paper. Ooh, look at the gingerbread. And this has very nice texture. This is authentic, like a first run, really nice texture sugar cookies, more cookies. I'm liking this. Lots of dessert, lots of dessert options here. Oh, little aprons. All sorts of stuff. This would make neat Christmas cards. So the 12 by 12 and the eight by eight, it's all matching, all the same. And the sticker sheet. So I think this should definitely be one that I set aside and you decide if you wanna see. 
I will not use all of this paper this year. It just won't happen. So I think what I'll do is I'll pick a new set to do for my collab and then maybe I'll circle back and try and work with some of the partials and not start 10 different ones. I did have a note in here to myself that said don't buy anymore, but then, you know, sometimes you get your warehouse box or you see some things at Tuesday morning you can't resist. Oh, here's another fun one. This is Bow Bunny, 36 pages of winter getaway collection. A lot of blue, look at that wonderful blue. So it's a Christmas collection, but it has a lot of blue. For some reason, I took a partial piece out of it there. A lot of red and green and blue. And then I have the, what you call the noteworthy pack. So it's ephemera. And I would probably take this out, add glitter, layer things up, and then start making cards. So we'll give you that one as a choice. Oh, it's going to get hard, you guys. You're going to have a lot of choices. <laughs> okay, we're not going to look at any of that stuff. It's embellishments, which maybe we should pull out because then you'll know what you have to go with. Different things. Uh, I love winter. We have a lot of that, don't we? A perfect winter. I love winter. This is scraps and fun stuff. This is a blue and purple. I've, I've sort of hacked into that one, so we'll leave it. Celebrate winter. I told you. It's embarrassing. But... I wanted your help choosing. <laughs> okay, here's another one. This is Authentique. The collection is Snowfall. And it is a lot of green. I'm trying to find you something. It's almost easier when you have the small pads. You can flip through it. These are like punch outs. Here we go. And here is the, like a summary of the collection. A lot of snowmen. I hope you can see okay. I haven't been watching you. A lot of snowmen and some geometric patterns. This is snow. Oh, look at these cut-aparts. That's funny. Same thing on both sides. Cut-aparts. Like a wintry tree bark that's green. More cut-aparts. The authentic cut-aparts freak some people out. So if you don't want to see these kids... Yeah, you probably shouldn't pick this paper pad. Snowmen. Oh, I like this one with the music. This is an interesting paper collection because some of it is the textured like first run and some of it is super smooth. So it might be weird to mix them in a journal or cards, but it might be fun. Okay, so that's Authentic Snowfall. I might have to narrow this down for you at the end. Okay, I thought I had this. Snow much fun. Snow much fun. So last winter, I was super excited for this one and I wanted it in my collection. This is Cartabella. It's teal, green, and navy. And it's just all about snow. And it's it just makes me happy. And I might not have you choose this one because I might just want to hoard it some more until I find like the perfect project for it. Let it snow. The snuggle is real. Warm, wintry wishes. Fun, fun, fun. Tis the season to be freezing, cocoa and cuddles, ice and frost and happy days. Oh my gosh, the sticker sheet. I love a sticker sheet with a lot of small stickers for making cards and stuff. I do not like the ones with like a giant one that really only works for a scrapbook page and I have to figure out how to chop up. And I don't like the alphabets because I have enough alphabets. So this is really, really cool. I love it. Yeah. Okay, and we don't have to go Christmassy for this collab. Uh, Beth is open to winter papers too. We just, you know, it has to be something like that. I asked her last year and she said it was fine. Okay, so we've got, what's this called? Hello Winter. I might have had two of these last year. I had a lot of fun with this. But see, some of these cut aparts or stickers, they're just so big. Whereas on this one, these are much better for card making. Okay, we've got Hanukkah paper, a perfect winter. I, I, I think I had this one more than one of these two. Sometimes I go crazy on the blues. So this is a perfect winter, has snowflakes. Ooh, I love these florals with the blue in them and birds and snowmen. Here's some layered stickers I used partial of. 
put those over there. It's no much fun. That's the chipboard. Okay, have we looked at everything? It's hard to tell, isn't it? This box, this, this box we don't need to see tonight or, I don't know, maybe ever. It is all embellishments and stamps. So I will use it, but it's not for choosing our collab paper. Okay, so let me clean this up just a bit and then I'll give you some choices. I'll mix this in anywhere. Maybe I wouldn't call this a collection. I usually go gold for Christmas too. So I don't know, I'll have to think about that. Okay, I think I have a video from last year of Celebrate Winter, I could be wrong. I'm gonna give you lots of choices in case you loved the birds in one or maybe you love the reindeer in that one. Oh my gosh. If you've watched me do this before, you won't think this is weird at all, but if you're newer to my channel, this might be weird. Celebrate winter. It's over here, we have two of them. I don't know that I'll use them both. We have some frames and tags to go with it. We're gonna call that B, celebrate winter. And I'll zoom in at the end so you can see, I'll pan down. Merry and bright has a little bit of pink and we're gonna call that C. It's Echo Park, it's Santa and splashes of pink in the packages and in the snowmen. And if you watch my, <laughs> if you watch my craft room tour, you're gonna know that I put tons of pink away, but I can make that work. We'll figure it out. Then the next one is A Perfect Winter by Lori Whitlock. I do have some layered stickers. I might have some other things. And again, all of the different ephemera pack from like this is I love winter, they'll, they'll work. The colors mix and match. If you have them, go for it. So we're gonna call that one D. We're gonna call this Cartabella green and blue, snow much fun. And the chipboard that we have here, we're gonna call that, we need a new letter, E. Snow much, oh no, snowfall, which was the authentique with snowmen and a lot of different patterns and quite a bit of green. We're gonna call that one G. You'll notice we don't have all the letters. And this authentic of rejoice with the 12 by 12, the stickers and the eight by eight, we're gonna call that one I. And then bow bunny with the six by six and the ephemera pack, we're gonna call that one K. And then comfort and joy with my mind's eye what I'd probably do on one of these is start into the 48 sheet pad. I don't know that I would use the 48 and the six by six, but I don't know. I reserve the right to, you never know about me. I think I would go with the, the 48 and then Cozy Christmas is over here. And Cozy Christmas is the one with the packages and the cars and the trees and like the advent. That one's gonna be N. So it's a little bit different. Oh, we've got some embellishments in here. So I'm gonna try and spread these out. Just put the letter down below of the one that you'd like to see, or maybe you don't care, or maybe you wanna see a certain brand or a theme, you can do that too. I like to let the people that watch my videos help me choose which paper I'm gonna use. I bought them, I'm gonna use them all eventually, I would guess, but that way you get to pick. So this is Celebrate Winter. B as in boy, C is merry and bright with the pink and Santa and the packages. Then you have a perfect winter, which is D as in dog. Snow much fun, this is the one with the green and the blue and it's Cartabella. Snowfall is G as in Greg, snowman and some cute stuff. Rejoice. I'll just show you on the eight by eight because it's easier. Authentic, that's I. K is this bow bunny one, winter getaway. A lot of blue, green, 
A lot of Christmas, but still a lot of blue. Really fun. Then M is Comfort and Joy. And since these are so close in color, I'm just going to let you look at the pad for a minute to kind of get a better idea and see which ones you like. There you go. Anyway, Comfort and Joy is more about mittens. And then you have Cozy Christmas, which is N. You're going to get cars, packages, a whole bunch of text, ornaments. I, I would say more images in Cozy Christmas. By choosing the paper that you like, you're also going to get an idea of what I might work on, right? If you choose a 6x6, six six, I'm more likely to make cards, not journals. If you go 12x12, 12 12, 48 sheets, I can make anything. Uh, a 12x12 12 12 collection that I need to use for a collab for a month, I'm probably not going to be able to make a journal out of that. I would need to make cards. Otherwise, I might be done in the first week. Let me know what you think. If you want to choose, you're welcome to. Otherwise, I hope you had fun looking at my ridiculous Christmas stash. This is not a she who has the most wins, okay? This is good heavens. I need to use this stuff and stay home. So just keep that in mind. This is too much and I wouldn't show you except a couple people asked. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you're taking time for crafting and relaxing. Bye-bye.